At least 10 people including two security men were killed and 45 were wounded when a bomber blew himself up at the main gate of session court in Peshawar on Monday noon. The blast also damaged several cars outside the court building. However, this is not the first time Peshawar judiciary has been hit by such attacks. In November, an attack on the judicial complex on Khyber Road killed 19 and injured 45. I was the first one to reach on the spot after the blast happened. I myself picked up two dead bodies in addition to two injured lawyers and transported them to the nearby hospital. And as the security is heightened around military sites, the militants have turned to attacking softer targets such as mosques and courts. Some say this blast was aimed at apprehended militants who were on trial inside the court. So I feel that the militants, the, the suicide bomber was sent to finish up their own men inside the territory, uh, this uh, anti-terrorist court, so that, you know, that man may not come out with secrets which affects their own organization and their places of, uh, say, uh, hiding. Peshawar, near the Afghan border, has been targeted repeatedly since Pakistan sent its troops to fight the militants in the tribal region of South Waziristan. Hundreds of people have been killed in attack across the country since the operation began in the autumn. But recently, as the Pakistani army seems to be gaining the upper hand in the fight against the militants, there is hope that this battle may be won at long last. The second attack on the judiciary in the wave of terrorist attacks across northwest frontier of Pakistan has alarming warnings in the legal fraternity of Peshawar, and there prevails a real threat to the lives of those working for it. This might impart huge momentum to the demands of the people that militants should at any cost be rooted out of the country. Zahid Hussain, Press TV, Peshawar.